how to get a mop top haircut. I started calling this haircut the mop top just because uh, <laughs> at some point it looks like a mop on your head. But some of you may think this looks absolutely ridiculous. Some of you are just like, whatever. But there's also a lot of people who want this type of haircut. So if you are looking for this type of haircut or a variety of this haircut, there's something that you really absolutely need to have locked in and that is the length of the hair. If you get this haircut too short, right? If you go in and say, for example, the person cutting your hair cuts it way up here, guess what? You're no longer gonna have a mop top haircut. It's just gonna look ridiculous, okay? So the first thing you need to do as a client is make sure that you know what you can tolerate as far as hair being in your face. This is a hair in your face haircut or in your eyes, okay? And if you're a younger individual and you're dealing with parents or someone at home, they're probably gonna start complaining, oh, the hair's in your face or get out of your eyes or you're, you know, if you're playing sports and all that, but you yourself know what you can tolerate, you know, what's gonna keep you safe while you're walking. So, you know, you don't wanna impair your vision at all, obviously, but it really comes down to how long can you tolerate having the hair in your eyes or covering your face, okay? Then there's a, a variation of, is it gonna be like, you know, a curtains type of mop top. Um, but traditionally, this haircut is usually all coming down in the face like this. You could sweep it over if you want, like so, and leave kind of like, you know, one eye exposed this way so you can see that way. But the point of it is, you know, having it to where it just sits. Now, depending on your forehead, this is a, I mean, a very, very small forehead. Most people don't have foreheads this small. If you do, good for you. But, you know, as long as the hair is a bit longer, even if it's just coming right to the eyes like this, it's still important that you have this length into here, okay? So you have the length, you have to then match that up with the sides because you don't wanna have this super short and then you have the sides really long. It's just not gonna look good. You wanna make sure that this whole haircut is balanced. So the longer you go here, you wanna make sure you're maintaining some sort of length into here. I try to, try to match this up. So if you wanna to go to about right here, bring the length up to maybe just to the top of the ear like this, okay? Uh, you can have it slightly longer on a, on a very slight angle, but I would not try to have a huge variety of difference between lengths, all right? And then the back you can actually have a bit layered in through here. I don't suggest having this all one length down through here because it's just gonna look very heavy. It's not gonna look right. So once you get into the back area and through here, make sure that you start layering this and it can work on, you know, if you have wavy hair, if you've got straight hair, but all this is layered, as you can see, down and through here. It's also gonna create some volume. So if you're somebody who has more of a flat head shape back here, if you keep it all one length, it's just gonna lay flat like this and it's gonna look like a wall on the back of your head. So by creating layers, you're actually gonna be rounding out the area that lays very, very flat in through here, okay? So then the layers on top, again, has to be balanced with the length that you have coming down throughout here and the sides. Don't go super short here and have it really long here and vice versa. If you have no layers, it's gonna look like a mushroom. You need to incorporate some sort of light or long layering, as you can see into here, see where the hair is dropping. So hold it straight up. This I would say is probably about seven inches in length and it, and it all travels down towards here, okay? The entire thing is pulled out from the scalp and cut in balance with the head shape and the way the hair grows out of the head. A very fairly simple haircut. Last thing about this is, you know, who do you go to? Do you go to a barber? Do you go to a hair salon? Me personally, I would highly suggest going to a hair salon for something like this because this is all about haircutting. There's no clipper work involved. It's all legit haircutting. People who are used to doing these types of trendier hairstyles, uh, if your barber does work really well with scissors and he does a lot of you know, good haircuts or he or she, then great, go to them. Just find someone who is familiar with doing these types of haircuts, who's done them before, check out their Instagram, what kind of work are they doing, and then that's gonna help you make your decision on who to go to. So let me know in the comments below if you have this haircut, if you're trying to get this haircut, any stories about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.